Yeah. Uh, all right. What's today? Two Tuesday? No, Wednesday. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Re I couldn't remember if it was Wednesday or Thursday today. But buddies are back. I think yesterday around like midday or so. Uh, they said it was coming back mid season. So I don't know when mid season is because I feel like the season's been going on forever. But Battlegrounds is bringing back buddies. Uh, Battlegrounds bringing up buddies for the mid-season. Update patch 25.6. Buddies are those friends, sidekicks, or pets that are specific to each Battlegrounds hero and designed to synergize with their style of play. Uh, buddies are earned through the match and can give you a big boost when you need it most. Some of us have probably played with buddies. Some of us haven't played with buddies. Uh, there's going to be new buddies because the last time that we had buddies, new heroes have been introduced. So... You get uh, you get your first buddy, which is just one of the buddies, and then later in the game you get your you get two more of those buddies to make a a uh, a gold buddy. So they all have a regular buddy and a gold buddy. Um, pretty interesting. The old buddy meter will be going away, uh, and there'll be a buddy button in its place. I I read this a little earlier, and it's all tied to economy now. So the initial cost. To get your buddy will be based on your buddy's tavern tier. Buddies are having their tavern tiers reworked, so now there can be buddies of tavern tiers 1 through 6. The cost to buy a tavern tier 1 buddy will start at 11 gold, and the cost to buy a tavern 6 buddy will start at 21 gold. The cost will then reduce by 3 for each 1 or tied combat, or reduce by 2 for each lost combat. That's pretty good, because the old way, if you just got a massive minion at the beginning and you're dealing like a lot of damage to minions on the board you got your buddy faster but you could just have like a big um like one of those, those dragons that just like increase its attack every time you level and at that time it was like double your attack you just get one of those big ones and it just you just hit the hit the other guys even though you're losing rounds you're getting your buddy that much faster um all the official oh yes they have so there are some more they re released some of the new buddies so let's just take a look at that let's see so professor putricide gets uh fester gut just summon a random undead creation i imagine if once he goes gold it's summon a random undead creation twice maybe something like that I'd imagine. Uh, Terran Gorfiend, or Garfield as I like to call him. After a friendly minion dies, give its neighbors plus one, plus one. A triple will probably be plus two, plus two. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good, especially if you get it with, like, undead. Its neighbors are going to be huge by the end of the round. There were some more. Where were... I click... No... Oh, here. Queen Ashara. Some people will be pretty pumped about Queen Ashara. Whenever you cast a spellcraft spell on a different minion, you also cast it on this. So the Imperial Defender could get pretty large. Tavern 3. Ozimats. A little bit boring. Upgrade Tentacular. and Tentacular? I think that's how you say it. Uh, by plus one, plus one. Dev facts are not in agreement as to whether it's pronounced Tamuzo or Tamuzo. Oh. Uh, Lady Vash, if that's how you say her name. After a spellcraft minion appears in Bob's Tavern, get a copy of its spell. That could. That sounds a little bit broken. I'll have to wait and see, but that sounds pretty powerful. If it just appears in the shop, you get its spell. Uh, Heist Baron. Togvagel. Uh, refresh Bob's Tavern with the highest tier minion from each opponent's warband. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, especially if you drop it and then you just buy the whole shop with everyone's best minion, I guess, or highest tier minion. Uh, Sire. Discover a quest. Complete it to get an 8 gold coin pouch. So you get 8 coins. That seems a little bit underwhelming, but could work out well, I guess. I guess it depends on what your original quest was. 
right and see if that like works well with that sylvanus windrunner remove a friendly minion give its stats to its neighbors on a battle cry so you only do that once and i guess you do it twice and it's probably like double its stat or something like that and then the jailer uh summon three random tier one minions that also sounds not great. Who wants three tier one minions? I don't know. This this might not be very good. Uh, Enhance Mechano. Minions in Bob's Tavern with Taunt, Reborn, Wind Fury, Divine Shield have plus one, plus one for each. Okay, so they can get like a little, little bit bigger. If like an already taunted minion gets... Divine Shield, it gets plus two, plus two, I guess. And then Professor, Professor Putricide, already already there. So we already looked at that. We already looked at Terran. So those are the buddies. They'll be coming back mid-season, whatever mid-season is. I don't know when. I don't know what mid But uh, that's pretty good, because we haven't had quests, and we haven't had buddies for like a little while now. So bringing buddies back. Uh, last time I played with buddies it was pretty chaotic uh there is like some good strategies that has to be involved because now you like have this other card in your builds that you didn't have before you gotta try to fit that in there somewhere but overall pretty pumped to see what uh the buddy meta looks like and to see how good these ones actually are uh just watch out for lady vash because coil fang elite is only a two star and that sounds that sounds pretty good. Sounds really good. We'll, we'll see what happens.